Today in Review This Thing, we are going to test six different 28 gauge TSS loads through this Mossberg SA28 and this True Lock Choke. If you guys have been watching our channel, you know we have been tearing up some 410 load testing. And then I wanted to get it on another little sub gauge action and picked up a 28 gauge Mossberg SA28. We took it out the other day and shot it for the first time with the stock choke and the ghost rings. Got some really impressive patterns, but of course we had to try out some other choke combinations. You also know how much we really like true lock chokes. So I got a true lock choke in here and I had to put this loophole Delta Point Pro on there. Let's test it out. Now, before we get started, several people commented on our other videos that it really wasn't fair to compare different weights and different size shot. We realize that's not ideal, but we basically are shooting the shells that we have and shooting what's available. The main thing is we're just looking for the load that we think is going to do the best for us. Hopefully that information will give you what you need to decide for yourself, but either way, we're shooting what we got, so let's shoot them. Let's start our test with the Boss Toms. These actually did really well out of the stock choke in this SA-28. So let's see if they like the true lock choke just as well. From here, it looks like there's a pretty good chance in it. Let's go see. Looks like it's a little bit high, but let's count and see how many pellets we can get in that tight circle. And there you have our boss Tom. We got 97 pellets in a six inch circle and 175 in a 10 inch circle. So just taking a look there, that thing is definitely gonna be a dead turkey, no doubt. All right, now we have our verdicts. These have done very consistent throughout all of our guns. So hopefully out of this true lock choke, they'll be the same. Obviously, I can only see what I can see at 40 yards, but that looks pretty crazy. We shall see. Wow, yeah, that's gonna die for sure. That's a lot of pellets in that turkey's head. 164 pellets in a six inch circle and 298 in a 10 inch circle. Man, that's a, and that's a pretty well perfect shot too. If that turkey bobs or moves forward or backward, it's definitely gonna die. Really impressed with that. Now we have Rogue Ammunition. I think these were one of our top performers in the stock choke video, so hopefully we'll get even better numbers out of it with this true lock choke. That is a lot of pellets. Let's check it out up close in person. Really impressive again. Obviously that one's a little bit high. So we might miss a few in that 10 inch circle, but a six inch circle should be ridiculous. Coming in with another impressive showing, 126 in a six inch circle, 231 in a 10 inch circle. And you see that pattern's a little bit high. So we may have had more in our 10 inch circle, but look at that. Now another load that is very well known in the turkey hunting world, the Apex nine and a half turkey load. Let's give it a go. I know we keep saying this, but like watching from here, it's very evident that everything, if I can get this anywhere near a turkey at 40 yards, it's gonna die. Because when I look here, I'm like, man, that's a lot of pellets. So what we're learning is make a good shot and that thing's gonna die. Let's go look at it. Yep, another very dead turkey. Golly, that's awesome. It's a good, good looking pattern for sure. I know I keep saying this, but that apex is also another really impressive pattern. 146 in a six inch circle, 291 in a 10 inch circle. A little bit high again, but take a look at that. Moving right along, we have Viper ammunition. We've been impressed with these so far, hoping to be impressed again. Guess we'll find out. Pellets, pellets everywhere, pellets. Let's take a look. That is, it's a dead turkey, man. That is a dead turkey all day long. And now we have Viper, also another really nice showing, 159 in a six inch circle, 313 in a 10 inch circle. And you can see the pattern is even a little bit this way, or at least where I shot. 
So if that thing was pulled over, we probably had even more. But dead turkey nonetheless. Okie dokie. Up next, Salt Creek Ammo. I'm pretty sure they just mixed these loads last week. They did well out of the stock choke, so hopefully the true lock will do even better. Let's check it out and see. Dead turkey. Let's go check it out. Dead, dead, and dead. All day long. And finishing off with Salt Creek, 104 in a six inch circle, 202 in a 10 inch circle. You see, I was a little bit high on that one too. So again, maybe a few more in that 10 inch circle, but dead turkey nonetheless. So there you have the results of our Mossberg SA28 with a true lock choke test. They're all really impressive. And no matter which one of those you use with that choke, you're gonna kill a turkey. We'll tell you the top three and six inches. Verdict had 164, Viper had 159, and Apex Turkey had 146. Now in that 10 inch circle, Viper did get a few more. So they had 313, Verdict had 298, and the Apex had 291. And the other loads did really well too. So what I'm learning out of this Mossberg SA-28 is if you can aim and make a good shot, hopefully you shouldn't have a hard time killing a turkey, at least at 40 yards. Make sure you stay tuned. We're gonna have reviews on both the CVA Scout and the Mossberg 500 410. We're gonna have a review on this gun, as well as that loophole Delta Point Pro that we have on top. Hopefully we're gonna have some footage of us killing some turkeys this year. You may wanna subscribe so you don't miss it. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Mossberg SA-28 True Lock Choke TSS testing video. While you're here, watch every other review that we have. We really appreciate it. Make sure you like them, give them a thumbs up, share them with your friends, and comment below. Also, make sure you check out our website, reviewthisthingtv.com, and follow us, like I said, on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.